So for Territorians, I can update that we had two cases of COVID-19 recorded overnight, and that brings our total case numbers in this cluster to 58 individuals. And of course, we wish all of them a speedy recovery. The first case from yesterday evening was a 17-year-old girl. She is from the Binjari community. She is a household contact of previous cases and she has been in the Centre for National Resilience for the entire time of her infectious period. Uh, so no risk to the Territory community and we of course wish her well. The second case is also a member from the Binjari community, a 19-year-old woman, and she has tested positive within the Binjari community as a part of the third round of testing that we did yesterday. Uh, and so herself and her household contacts will be uh, brought up to Darwin to the Centre for National Resilience. It's not unexpected that we had cases from Binjari community yesterday. Um, we undertook significant testing. We had 153 tests conducted in the Binjari community uh, and we will continue a testing regime to ensure that we can uh, get on top of any cases within that community as early as possible to care for them. Uh, and because Binjari is still under that hard lockdown conditions, we're confident, uh, again, that that case is not a threat to the Northern Territory community. And I'd just like to acknowledge the residents of Binjari. Uh, it's certainly very hot in the Catherine region and they're doing a great job. So we thank them, uh, all Territorians thank them. By them staying at home, uh, not moving about, they are, as these cases come about, not putting our broader community at risk. So we will do a further round of testing in Binjari tomorrow uh, and we'll certainly update the community as we start to get those results through. Still in the Catherine region, we had the wastewater testing come in uh, last night and we have a presumptive positive still for Bicentennial Road, uh, which is, is weakening and Dr Payne will speak to that further. But there was also another presumptive positive for Chambers uh, Crescent, which um, is upstream of Bicentennial Road. So Dr Payne will talk more about what those results could potentially mean. Um, they're very low readings, but um, it's important for anyone in Catherine, uh, if they're feeling slightly unwell, uh, to please reach out to get tested. It could be someone sh uh, shredding the virus, shedding the virus, sorry, or it could be um, another case that we do need to become aware of. So it's really important if you're symptomatic in Catherine to please get a test. On to La Jamanu, I'd like to acknowledge the amazing work of everyone that has supported the La Jamanu community since Saturday evening. Um, our rapid response team has gone straight to work in La Jamanu, working alongside our health and other frontline staff that are in La Jamanu. Uh, it was fantastic to see test results coming out of La Jamanu uh, on Saturday evening, and that um, is thanks to the leadership of the health and other staff in La Jamanu. So we've done 147 tests in La Jamanu, and all of those pleasingly have returned back negative. And we also delivered around 20 vaccines in La Jamanu overnight. Uh, so we'll get the next round of wastewater testing back for La Jamanu later today, this evening, and we'll certainly update the community once we get that. Everything is looking very positive for La Jamanu, but it's certainly very early days. So we need the residents of La Jamanu to listen to um, their community leaders, listen to the teams on the ground. Please take this opportunity if you're not vaccinated to get vaccinated. We've got uh, vaccination teams out there ready to provide you with what could be a life-saving vaccine. And we'll certainly monitor the wastewater around La Jamanu as we go forward. In terms of contact tracing, as we see the days um, pass by, the 14 days, people are starting to come off being close contacts. And so we now have 377 close contacts and of those 370 have had a negative test. So that's very pleasing and thank the patients of those individuals who've been identified as a close contact, having to go into isolation and subject to a testing regime, but that's certainly pleasing. There was over 1,800 tests conducted in the Northern Territory in the last 24 hours, which being a Sunday is also pleasing. So thanking everyone that is coming forward to be tested. The testing and that wastewater is our key to making sure we keep our community safe. It's a very important defence for us. 
And I also just want to touch upon the work that's happening in Central Australia. In Yuen Damu, uh, we know that um, the communities, uh, that La Jamanu is connected to Kalkaringi and down to, to La Jamanu and other surrounding communities. And we're doing wastewater testing in a range of communities to help us identify. We need anyone in those communities, if they're not feeling well, to please reach out and get tested. We have um, rapid tests in a number of our clinics and we can also provide that PCR test. But in Yuen Damu, the community has responded by getting vaccinated. We delivered 16 doses yesterday, and I understand that there is people lining up to be vaccinated this morning in that community. And I was there just a few weeks ago. The health staff and the community leadership have done a great job in encouraging people to come forward for the vaccination. We've sent our vaccine bus from Alice Springs out to you and Demu, so it will be in the community and it's a wonderful opportunity. I again reiterate that the vaccine is safe, it is effective. Please talk to your local clinic about how important the vaccine is. Don't believe the misinformation that is being spread on social media. And just before I finish off on our remote communities, Robinson River uh, has done a great job. Uh, we're heading in today to do the um, day 12 testing for that community. So things are looking very positive for residents of Robinson River. Uh, and so we again thank their community for uh, getting vaccinated, but also making sure they're following that testing regime.